create our maze game, what we're going to start off with doing is deleting our character, our sprite, and we're going to create three different backdrops because we're going to have a level one, a level two, and the game over backdrop. So to begin with, obviously we need to create the maze. I'm going to start with just a light green background, and then using the line tool here, I'm going to draw some straight lines which will be the maze. So with that done, the next thing to do is create the next backdrop. For each backdrop I'm creating though, I'm just going to give it a name. So this is level 1, and now I'm going to draw my level 2 backdrop. For my level 2 backdrop, the maze is going to be narrower to make it more difficult. Then finally, I'm going to draw the game over backdrop. Now I'm going to select Sprite. I need to make sure the sprite is small enough to fit through the maze. Now I'm going to add the controls for the sprite. We'll check that works. seems to be working fine. Now I'm also going to create another sprite which will be my portal sprite that will take him to the next level. So I'm just going to pick an item. I'll choose the rainbow. Now I'm going to have a health variable And when the game begins by clicking this green flag, health will automatically be 10 points. The other important point here is that when the green flag is pressed, we always want the cat sprite to begin in the same place. So we can see here the coordinates, and we want the cat to always begin at the beginning of the maze, which is negative one nine nine one so we're going to go go to somewhere around there okay so next off we want to make sure that whenever the cat touches the red line it goes back to the beginning okay so to do that we're going to say if touching, so we need an if block here, and sensing, if touching the color red, so we need to make sure we select that red color, if touching color red, then we can get the cat to say ouch, for probably best just 0 0.5 seconds. So it doesn't seem too long. Say ouch for 0 0.5 seconds and go back to, to this area here. Okay, so to do that, we're just going to get a go to block and we can pick our same coordinates as before. Negative 191, 91. We also need to make sure that we put this if block inside a forever block so that condition is continually being checked by the program. So here we go. And it goes back to the start. To make the game more interesting, of course, we need to make sure that the health gets reduced every time he touches that red line. So we're going to put inside here, change health by negative 5. 
So now, whenever the cat touches the red line, it goes back and he loses five points. We should also have another if block to say that if the health is zero, then the game ends. So to do that, we're going to, again, well, start using an operator, have an equals in here, and say if health equals zero, then we want to broadcast a message to another part of the program. So we need to click on the events palette here and click broadcast message one. Just to make it clear for us, we'll change that to game over, broadcast game over. So now that's been set up, we want to make sure that if or when, when we receive that message, or when the program receives the message game over, it switches backdrop to this backdrop over here, which we just need to name so it's obvious the game over backdrop. Okay, so to do that, when I receive game over, we click on looks and we're going to switch backdrop to game over. Okay. And also, of course, stop all. So the whole game is no longer playable as soon as the game over message is broadcast. Let's check that works. Last five points. Last number five points, and the game is now over. You'll also notice we can still see this rainbow, which perhaps we may not want to appear on the game over screen, so we should make sure that that disappears. So let's click on the rainbow sprite and click when I receive game over, hide. So click on looks, put in hide there. Okay. And also you'll notice when I'm clicking the green flag, it's not going to my original screen, so I need to make sure that it does return to the original screen. So here, where it says when green flag clicked, I want to make sure that I put in a bit of code, say switch backdrop to level one. Okay, so now let's go to the bet rainbow, see what happens. Okay, you'll notice nothing is happening there, so we need to make sure that we program the sprite that once it touches the rainbow, it goes to level two. To do that, we need another if block, and we'll put that in there, and we'll say if, and using the sensing block again, this time if touching rainbow, then we want to click on looks, switch backdrop to level two. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're moving the cat around. Let's see if we can get our cat to level two. 